shooting. Yep. So he had the right idea, but of course, uh, the other grenade doing the job. But now Hungry Box, hungry for more. They are going to be taking the fight to A1 Esports, but it's Sinister who gets first blood in the situation. Shifu, in fact, is going to be taken out of his misery. Exactly. And Sinister going to be the one to actually take him out of his misery as well, as Dead Eyes seems like they might be in a little bit of trouble. Now, they do not really have that good of a position on top. We did see, you know, this man getting in those flank angles as well, but Wadu, sir, take a look at this man's trigger discipline. He has spotted both of those players from DRS, but he's waiting for the right opportunity to strike, as Wadu, sir, is not going to be trying to give his position away, but it seems like one of the players from Dead Eyes is careless. He's going to be driving the buggy right through the middle. It's going to be Hungry Box. Now, of course, Hungry Box being one of the best players that Dead Eyes have to offer, and also being the recent addition, he was a former member of Wipes as well. And I really feel like overall the way he's playing with Dead Eyes is just an absolute beauty to witness. Absolute beauty indeed. And uh, I do kind of like that uh, move over there because Hungry Box, it's not like he's going to flank the enemy. They're trying to make sure that they secure a position because Wadu said he was left behind, but it looks like Dante definitely had an idea where he was. And again, have a look at how A1 Esports are playing. They are not overextending. They are making sure that the opponents, that the enemies mm -hmm. make all their mistakes. And right now, they just want to yeah. capitalize on their mistakes, which again, abilities on him. But the fact that he's out in the blue, you don't really want to be shooting at a full squad. Exactly. And you certainly do not want to gather attention as well when the stone is going to be shrinking down to its lowest. Now, Avon Esports does know that there is one of the squads right outside the zone as well. And Sinister is going to be pinning them down outside the zone. Of course, that is going to be a massive factor as well as it's going to be C9. They are in a massive water trouble because Avon Esports, they are waiting for them to make any kind of movement. And they want to catch them off guard as Evil Eye. Look at this man. And of course, he will be taken down. Now, even R3D Esports, we did see them do real good in the last map, and this time they are getting eliminated off in these early phrases. Well, they have been sent packing as well, but let me just point one thing out. A1 Esports have surprised me. I do believe they have seven kills to their name. Let's make that eight. No, that was Wolverine who came in with that final kill on Seal 9's anchor, which means Seal 9 are going to be bowing out in the eighth position. The question is, did they have enough kills? Mm, we're going to have to wait and find out. Two points for their kills is not going to be enough to propel them to the top 16. Meanwhile, F4 are still in this game. And I like the fact, see, A1 Esports, they made all the right decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that they moved out quick and they are holding down the fort, not overextending, yeah. they just might make it to the Super Weekend. They certainly learned from their mistakes as the rotation wheels coming in through from F4. This is going to be a crucial game for even Blood Legion F4 and this fight might be so detrimental that we actually do not want to miss it. Waltrix taking a lot of shot on Rayan, but Rayan barely getting hit as well. Now, Waltrix making the move on to players of Blood Legion, but it's going to be so risky to do as well. But now F4, take a look at what these guys are oh. Doing. These guys are absolute madmen as they're going to be rotating right inside open and Dominic of course catching Khan of guard and the other player is going to be him. right across the angle but Gyro from the back lines is going to be providing that essential cover and taking the last man down from 7C. Blood Legion finally Blood dishing Legion. out yeah. damage this time. Fixes in the background is definitely a happy guy right now. But Deadeyes <laughs> guys are going to be out in the fourth position, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final three teams in this last game of league play. Week one here in PMPL Season 3. Ten players are still alive. And against all odds, A1 Esports have played it clinical. Wow. They have done a wonderful job. Wow. They've held their ground. And they haven't backed away from fights, mind you. Exactly. I mean, they have been just holding off their ground. And certainly it's like, why do we need to fear if we have our ground secure for ours? And this is exactly what A1 Esports is growing, certainly learning from the mistakes that they've made. But 7C again, in a heavy fire, as the vehicles will be blasted out by Sinister. So there will be no means of transport for them to make a early rotation inside. One thing I just noticed, I loved A1 Esports rotation. They could have gone basically straight in towards the center. It is yeah. the higher ground, but they know where the enemy is. They went all the way around, hugging the blue zone. There wow. you have it. Dominic has been wiped out. And now they are just going to pick on the remaining members one by one, basically making it easy for them to walk away with the kills. There you have it. Double digits have already been secured. Ten kills for wow. A1 Esports. Now, these boys are playing like we've expected them to play. Yeah. Or what we've come used to seeing them do in big tournaments. Oh, Jairo might get spotted by oh. Dante here. 
Ryan, of course he will! Dunzo. That's gonna be XP Blood Legion getting eliminated on the third position. Of course, they did quite good, but they could have did way much more better as Ryan was the one to, you know, get the casualty inside the fight that happened against F4. Look at the They're rest going coming for from Dante! It. He's not gonna be stopping anytime soon as Nemo has been taken down as well. And now it seems like Able Esports have the entire situation in their head as Fear has been taken down in the end. And that's gonna be Able Esports taking the entire game in their head. And that's a massive chicken dinner even with the kills. Forget style. Forget everything. What was this confidence wow. that was infused right now? I mean, they just <laughs> went for it. A1 Esports, you all were wondering, where are these boys? Well, there you have it. They are on your screens right now. They are going to be a happy bunch winning the final game. Yep. And pretty much, uh, let's see if it's going to be enough to take them to the Super Weekend. But of course, uh, we're going to wow. have to wait. He's surprised. Find that. I mean, they were surprised. Where's the Let me in, let me in, yeah.